Time to get my Indomitus Necrons painted. Two sets in a painting Necrons vlog. And it's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this vlog. And if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about Necrons and more, then please subscribe and hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload. Right, here we go. I've got two sets of Indomitus Necrons to paint and Illuminor Xerus. And my plan is to try, yes, try, and get these painted before the Necron Codex comes out. The date today is the 8th of September. I've got this week off. Monday was yesterday, and yesterday I finished building the last of the warriors and making some videos. So today's task, well first task, is to prime these models black. And I'm going to use this vlog, sorry not vlog, vlog, to record my progress for two reasons. One, to give you a video, and also two, to help motivate me because if I'm recording my progress hopefully that will give me more motivation to get these painted. So let's get these primed black. Okay so it's a reasonable day, not too windy, it's not raining. I had a suspicion it was going to rain today but luckily it isn't. I've got my miniatures spread out and my spraying boards ready to be primed. I'm going to wear a face mask of course Always wear a face mask when you're using a spray can because it can really hurt your lungs if you don't. So, yeah, I think this is going to take quite some time. Okay, so I just hit them with the spray can. I went from every angle, from each side and above, just some light spraying, just building up the colour. Going to let that fully dry now, and then I'm going to turn the miniatures over and spray them from underneath because usually the spray misses underneath quite a bit and for my paint scheme I need these to be fully black because I'm going to be dry brushing over the top and that black is going to be left in some of the recesses. Okay so that's all dry and now I've turned them over. I've also taken off some of the bits that weren't actually glued so that I can get underneath them. I've collapsed the reanimators down so that I can get into all the bits with the next spray of paint. So let's do it. Okay so that's that side all sprayed. Going to let that dry. Going to turn them over the other way. Spray the other side and that's sprayed from every single angle. However I know that I'm not going to hit everything because sometimes legs and arms get into the way so I'm still going to have to go back in with my paint brush and just touch up any misses but first I need to do the other side. Okay so I've turned them over and as you can see there's still a few little gaps there so I'm just going to spray them from this side. This will be the last spray. Okay all primed. Now usually what I do when I'm painting something is I put it on this board on this little plastic thing and then this plastic lid goes on the top and protects it from dust as I'm painting it. But as you can see I've got far too many minis to be painted in one go to fit all on this board. So I'm going to have to come up with a different solution. I think I'm going to use the Indomitus box, the uh, top and bottom of the box to cover up the models. I like to have the models covered up uh, just to protect them from dust as I'm painting them. Illuminor here has already had the first coat of paint so uh, that's all done and of course I need to do everything else. So let's get them on the table. Okay so there you go, I've got all the HQs together because I'm going to be painting them uh, gold rather than silver and I've got the destroyers, the reanimators and then in here the rest of the troops. So of course now I can put my lids on which I'm going to do right now because I'm going to break and have lunch. It's half past twelve, I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to go in with the black paint and just touch up any misses from the spray paint and then I'm ready to paint the silver. Okay, so it's one o'clock, I'm set up, I'm ready for painting, I've got my magnifying glass, my light, my brushes and my entertainment. And now I'm going to paint for as many hours as I can. Let's see how much of this first coat I'm going to get down. So I'm going to be dry brushing with Iron Breaker over everything. Okay, so quick update, it is half past two now. 
I did forget that I also had to go in with the black paint and just do some touch-ups. However, there wasn't too many touch-ups to do. I started on this side, as you can see, these Scorpec things, quite difficult to dry brush around, so I had to take most of them off of their bases, which is why I didn't glue them. This box of Warriors and Scarabs I haven't touched yet, so I've still got to go in with the black paint. I'm just concentrating on dry brushing over this side of the table. Okay, so it's five o'clock, and I managed to get everything dry brushed apart from 20 Warriors. Necron Girl is now home from school. I've been in contact with my girlfriend, she's coming round for dinner, I'm going to have chilli con carne, so I'm going to spend the evening with her, and then I'm going to crack on with this again tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day, it's half past eight in the morning, Necron Girl has just gone to school, my girlfriend is still in bed asleep, so I'm going to attempt to get these warriors painted. Okay, so just for reference, this is my entertainment for today. Hendry versus Davis, 1989 World Championship semi-final. Steve Davis, my snooker hero. So looking forward to watching that. And I've been watching it for an hour now. Another four and a half hours to go, so that should keep me entertained. Anyway, it is quarter to ten, and I've finished those warriors just there. So I'm going to break now and have some breakfast and then get working on the second layer. Okay, so it's just gone 10 o'clock. I've had my lunch and I'm ready for the next layer. Just for reference, I've got these three minis here just for reference so I can look back at how my army was originally painted. And it's time to do the second coat and the second coat is going to be lead voucher. So I'm going to go over all of the bottom half of the Scorpec destroyers because their legs I'm classing as a vehicle type which means I paint them Iron Breaker because all of my vehicles are Iron Breaker that also means that the reanimators are going to be painted with that colour as well over here on the infantry side these will be painted with Rune Fang still as a second layer but first of all I'm going to work on Iron Breaker and that would include the bottom half of Illuminor as well now of course I'm going to be dry brushing this second layer so I've got my snooker ready to go I'm going to paint these for probably about three hours to about one o'clock and then I'll have a break for lunch okay so that's the lead voucher done which only took just over an hour the second dry brush of course generally is a lot quicker because you've got the base down so I used a big dry brush doing the big areas like the legs on the Scorpic Lords and destroyers and the reanimator I then went in with a smaller dry brush doing all of the little extra pieces like the wires, the weapons, did a luminor's legs and then over here I did the murder buckets top section, the bucket section and I did the top section of the little plasma sites. So I'm now ready to do the rune fang still on the rest. Okay, so I have silver all over me, but also all over the miniatures. It is quarter past one, and I've just finished painting the rune fang still, all on the warriors and the scarabs and the murder buckets, and then on some of the claws at the bottom on these reanimators, the Scorpec destroyers, body and the edge of the swords, and all of the bottoms of these and the edge of the swords and also on these guys so great progress I've still got some more work to do on the silver gonna go back in with some bolt gun metal uh, on certain areas in a second but uh, yeah just want to have a chat about my weapons on these guys obviously the traditional thing is to paint them green and I don't really do that for my uh, Necrons. I think the only green like weapon that I've got is on uh, the Stormlord and I just painted that green because well he was a one-off special character so I I painted it green but usually I don't to be fair usually my weapons are silver like this one so I'm probably going to leave them silver I'm not a hundred percent sure I have done the edge highlighting on the um, the sword so they do look pretty cool but we'll have to see so I'm gonna break for lunch 
I am still watching the snooker. It's a very good match. I'm enjoying it. When I say watching, I'm listening to it. However, I'm going to break for lunch. I'm going to watch Game of Thrones. I'm watching, re-watching that. Uh, so yeah, watching it for the second time. I'm currently on season four, episode seven. So I'm going to watch that, have some lunch, and then get back on painting. Okay, so it's half past two, time to do some more work. So I'm going to use lead boucher and I'm going to oil up the silver. I'm basically going to do an overbrush, which is like a wet dry brush. And I'm gonna do that on all of the big armor plates on the warriors. That's gonna be the main task. I'm going to do that on the Scorpec destroyers as well. The HQs are going to be gold eventually. And of course, this is already painted in the lead voucher color, so no work needed there. So, I need to do this. Let's see how long it takes. More to come. Okay, so it's four o'clock and the silver is finished. Really happy how these guys are looking. They're starting to take shape now, of course. A lot more work to go. And talking of the next stage, of course, that's going to be green. The scarabs and the murder buckets and the plasmacytes shouldn't take too long, just a couple of coats of green. Of course, these warriors here are going to take a very long time. I've got to paint in the uh, Gauss Reapers, which, yeah, 40 of them. That's going to be very time consuming. Not looking forward to that, I have to be honest. However, what I would like to say is I really like these warrior models and I've had a lot of fun actually painting the armour. I know a lot of people say that they look like zombies, even myself, I said that. However, now I've painted them, I have a different view of them. Of course, my warriors that I originally painted back in the day were supposed to be T-800s, that's how I painted them. Well, I still think these actually look like T-800s, they're just the battered version, so <laughs> they're Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end of the film rather than at the beginning. I actually quite like them, and I'm going to have to say, yeah, I, I really like these warriors. There you go, I've said it. <laughs> okay, so over on this side of the table, the reanimator, uh, just some green and gold to do on those. The biggest task on this side, which I will be doing next, and that's get these um, HQ's armour up to a gold colour like this and that's going to involve quite a number of uh, dry brushing coats. If you want to know how I do it I've actually made a full tutorial on me painting my gold armour however of course I'm going to do it in this video so you're going to see it in stages anyway um, and then Illuminor he's going to be gold obviously when I say gold these guys just on the top half and then the Scorpec destroyers, I'm still debating what to do with them. I think the weapons do look pretty cool how I've painted them. However, they are going to be quite silver. But so there's quite a few of these little sort of orby things on the legs and on their arms. So I'm thinking if I paint those green, along with obviously the symbol in his chest and the eyes, then I'm hoping that the silver sort of blades will still work pretty well. I am going to settle for silver blades, um, if only for the fact that it's going to mean less time painting them. So silver is the colour they're going to be. And yeah, I am now going to have a little rest. I'm not sure what's happening tonight. I'm just waiting to hear from my girlfriend, see if she's coming round. If she isn't, I will paint. If she is, then obviously I'll continue tomorrow. Okay, so it's quarter past five. I haven't heard from my girlfriend yet. And I'm thinking I've got an hour left of the snooker match there. So I might do some more work. However, my dry brushes are all a little bit wet at the moment. So instead, I'm going to paint some green and I'm gonna do some just basic stuff. So I'm gonna paint the green orbs on these scarabs and see how long that takes. So warpstone green on the scarab orbs. Okay, so the snooker has finished and I've managed to do all of the orbs and eyes on the scarab, so pretty happy with that. Just heard from my girlfriend, she is coming round, so I will do some more painting tomorrow. Morning, it's Thursday the 10th and it's eight o'clock. I've been up for an hour and I've been a busy boy.
Okay, speaking a bit quietly because my girlfriend's still asleep. I'm just about to get Necron Girl up because she's doing home schooling today. But this is what I've been doing. I've been thinking about the bases of these miniatures that I'm painting. So I've rolled up some green stuff to make some big crystals. I've cut some sprue up ready to make some small crystals. And I've got some rocks from my garden ready to, well, make some rocks. So I'm thinking of the bases because I'll tell you why. I hate it when I've finished painting all the miniatures and then I've got to work on the bases. So at least if I can prepare the bases, then I find it's just a lot easier. So if I can have all these uh, painted and obviously these have got to be shaped uh, ready for when I finish painting, it makes the bases seem less tedious. Got my cup of coffee. I'm just about to get Necron Girl up and then I'm going to get back to painting. Okay, so it's 10 to 9. I've got a cup of coffee. I've got my snooker here. Steve Davis versus John Higgins, 2000 World Championship Round 2. This is a four hour match. That should keep me busy as I paint the characters. So I've got my first gold mix here. I've got to do two layers of this dry brushing and this is a uh, two to one mix of gold, shining gold and rune feng steel. Okay so it's 10 o'clock, I've done two coats of the gold and I've got this guy down for reference as you can see bottom half silver, top half gold and that's what I'm doing on these guys here so hopefully it will work out quite well. Luminor as well. So I'm going to put the sneaker match on hold have a cup of coffee, a little rest, and then I'll get cracking with the next layer. Okay, 10 past 10, 10 minute break. I've mixed the paint up. The next layer is an overbrush, and I've got to do two coats of that. So, let's do it. Okay, so it's quarter to 11. I'm gonna have a 15 minute break now, but I've just done those two coats. The gold is coming on quite nicely. I still have another two layers to go before it's complete but I'm really liking how these guys are looking. Okay, let's have a break and we'll do some more. So I'm on my break, I'm watching Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming, awesome channel. I've even got one of his mouse mats, look at that. Go and check him out, I will link his channel up in the description below. So I'm just gonna watch this video and then I will carry on painting. Okay, 11 o'clock, and next up is a dry brush of shining gold. This is just one coat, so this shouldn't take too long. And then I've got one final layer to do, which is another uh, dry brush coat of a mixture of silver and gold. Like I said, I've got a tutorial on how I do this, the exact uh, paint that I use. So I'll link that up in the description below. Right, let's get this gold finished. Okay, it's 10 to 12 and I've finished the gold. I did have a slight disaster. Totally forgot to paint the extra hand and Illuminal's head. Forgot he had so many hands. So I had to go back in and make all the mixes up again and repaint them. So that was annoying, however, it's all done now and I'm really happy how they're looking. I do still have to do some touch-ups here and there, obviously I've been dry brushing, it's fairly messy, although I've been as neat as I can. For now though, the winner of my uh, Indomitus box set giveaway has just contacted me, so I'm going to sort out getting his prize out to him. Going to have some lunch, and then later on I'm going to go back to the green and continue painting some green. Okay, more to come. Okay, half past one, I've had some lunch, I'm ready to get painting again and I'm going to start with the reanimator here. Going to lay down the first coat of warpstone green and then I'll just see how I get on with that. Alright, snooker is back on, let's paint. Okay, so ten past three, I've been working on the green. I've managed to get the green base coats down on all of the reanimator. The big orbs, three coats. The small orbs, two coats. Also went into the Scorpec destroyers and I did those little orbs on the legs and arms. It definitely isn't going to be enough to change them up. However, I am thinking I'm going to add some black to this arm here that's holding the blade. That might help change them up. 
Um, if it's not enough, I'm thinking of doing green in the little grooves of the sword rather than actually painting the sword green. I might get some of that new glow paint and maybe try that. I've also been working over this side, so the murder buckets, I've done the uh, green orbs and the eye and on the plasma sides I've been doing all of the green on there so just the base coats but yeah made good progress I am going to have a little break now and then I'm going to work on the green on the gold okay so my plan has been foiled slightly I've got the electrician round at the moment doing some repairs and of course he's had to turn the electric off which means I've got no light uh, to do the, what I need to do so with my eyesight I need good light to be able to do it so I'm going to have to do something else okay so I thought I would work on the little rocks that I picked out of the garden this morning so I'm just going to prime them black I've done one side I'm going to let that dry turn them over do the other side and then I can paint these because well it's only just dry brushing some stone so I don't really need a light okay well at least I've got something to do Okay, so it's now five o'clock and I've just finished doing these rocks. The electricians are still here. A uh, bit of a mission to do these, to be fair, even though it's only dry brushing. Very messy, all over my fingers. Uh, but I went in with Caliban Green with a heavy dry brush, and then with Warpstone Green with a heavy dry brush, and then a light dry brush of Mute Green, and that gives me my Necron Rocks. Now whether I'm going to use all of these on this project, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, not to worry if I don't, because they'll keep for a future project. So yeah, those are all done. It's obviously, as I said, five o'clock now, so I'm going to stop. And still at this moment in time, don't know what's happening tonight. More painting, maybe. We will have to see. Okay, so the electrician is still here, and I had nothing to do, so. I carried on doing some hobby, so this time I have cut up the green stuff that I rolled into a tube earlier this morning and uh, now we have some crystals. So another step towards getting the base material done. Okay so I blue tacked them onto my board and I've just primed them and now I've hand painted them Caliban Green. The electrician is still here, it's half past six. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Hopefully it will be all over soon. Right, it's 20 to seven. The electrician has finally gone. We have electric. You have internet? Yes. Yes. So, there's Necron girl. And then Necron top. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to have something to eat and uh, my girlfriend's not coming around so hopefully I'll be able to get another couple of hours of painting in a little bit later. But first of all, time to eat. All I ever do in this vlog is paint and eat. <laughs> Don't do anything else. <laughs> okay, so it is quarter past eight. Just settled down to do a little bit of painting. And yeah, Thursday already. Now, obviously I've had the week off. Monday I was busy making uh, videos, making the conversion videos for the Indomitus set. And I have the advantage that all of those videos are done and scheduled in, so I don't have to do any videos until the end of the month, uh, which is useful to let me get on and do painting. However, yeah, this week has gone so quick. A week off just flown past. I'm really happy with how much painting I've got done. But yeah, it's gone very, very quick. And tomorrow's gonna to be a busy day. Uh, Friday is the day I usually do my food shopping. So I've got to go out and do that. I'm just painting the green at the moment on some of the HQs. So I need to do the shopping list, go food shopping, and then I've agreed to meet my mum at 12 o'clock because apparently her phone's broken and she wants to buy a new one so I'm going to help her with that um, and then in the evening I usually play a game on Friday so I'm probably going to be gaming on Friday night and then on Saturday I'm going to London 
um, with my girlfriend and daughter to see my girlfriend's parents. So that's going to be, I believe we're staying overnight, so that's a, uh, an overnight stay, so no painting on Saturday. Then next week I'll be back to work, so yeah, and also I've got quite a hard working week because I've only got one day off when I go back and that's on Wednesday and on Wednesday I'm playing Richard from CM War Game so I'm doing some hobby I'm not going to be painting and then the week after that is back to normal so just a standard two days off and then as he licks his brush then I've got another week off at the end of September so I'm going to try to get as much done as I can and hopefully finish these in that last week of September. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, for now I'm going to do a couple of hours of painting and uh, I'll show you what I've done at the end. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock and I've made good progress. I've been painting the green, just the base coat, on all of the characters starting to take shape. I've also gone into the Gauss Reapers on the Warriors and done the first coat just on the energy section. So I've done that in all 40 of those as well. So yeah, good progress. So I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Friday morning. It's just gone half past eight and reality has set in. I'd love to do some more painting today. But to be fair, I haven't done much this week apart from, well, hobby and eating. So I really do need to um, catch up on reality. Friday is my usual day off. So it's the day I usually do things like the ironing. Um, I need to do my shopping list and go shopping later. I've got a pile of washing up that I need to do. I need to hoover up and dust and just basically just do housework. So. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to get done today, if any. I'm meeting my mum at 12 for lunch and to go and get her new phone, of which I'm sure she needs help setting it up afterwards. So I think that's going to take most of the afternoon up. And potentially I'm playing a game tonight with my Blood Angels uh, buddy. So yeah, I'm not sure I'll actually do any painting whatsoever. Just notice, obviously with this camera angle, you can see I've got these like white streaks. Um, whilst I am getting older, that actually isn't grey hair. A few months ago I had alopecia, uh, which is where you, your hair basically starts to fall out. I had a few sort of bald patches and it grew back, um, and it grew back white, which apparently is quite normal. And apparently, according to my hairdresser, it will actually grow back to your normal colour at some point. I'm not quite sure how long that will take, but yeah, it's a bit annoying. I don't like it, but I could dye it, I suppose, but you know, I haven't, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on with today's jobs, and well, you might hear from me later if I get a chance to paint. If not, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Friday night, I uh, did no painting, however, a very productive day. Sorted my mum out with her phone, we went out for lunch, and I uh, saw my girlfriend for a couple of hours, and we are now playing a game, so I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here. We are going to play 500 points. I've got two 500 point lists ready to go. This is a combination of both of my lists. One list is going to be quite fun. I'm going to have Stormlord in there with five immortals and then 18 flayed ones. The other one, a little bit more serious, I'm going to have a Cryptek, five immortals, six tomb blades and then eight flayed ones. So it should be a fun game. Hopefully we'll get two games in, I'm not really sure. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to record the game. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the game is over. Uh, interesting night, and we played one game. Uh, my friend had to bring his two children round, uh, so it's quite noisy in here, so I didn't actually record a battle report. Uh, however, the plan was to take the children home after the first game and then play another game, and then I was going to do the battle reports on the second game. 
so that didn't quite happen because my friend took his children home and uh, yeah he wasn't allowed back out to play again because his other half wasn't very well so no battle report however as you're watching this video why not do a little overview of the game so I rolled a dice to see which army I was going to play it ended up being the Imitech one with the 18 flayed ones I was deploying over this side I deployed Imitech and the flayed ones here the immortals here my buddy had a big squad of bikes and a librarian on a bike I think it was a librarian and then he had two squads of scouts one scout squad hunkered over there the other one was over here I got first turn, Imitech popped the storm off, killing a few scouts, took a wound off the um, biker uh, character, whoever he was. And then over here I took some pop shots at uh, the bikes that were over here, I think I killed one. And then in my buddy's turn, his bikes pounded my immortals, got them down to one. Uh, I did reanimate and get them back up and then they raised the banner on this objective as in my turn two the flayed ones come over here got into close combat the flayed ones annihilating the bikes and the scouts that had moved around here effectively it was over in two turns so it wouldn't have been a much of a battle report anyway um, so yeah that's what's happened so my buddy has gone home I'm going to pack up now and uh, yeah, get ready for a trip to London tomorrow. Okay, so it's nine o'clock on Saturday morning. I'm going to be leaving my house at half past ten to meet my girlfriend to leave for London at eleven. So I've got about an hour now to paint. So I thought I'd paint from nine till ten o'clock and my task is to get these warriors here, the second coat of green done on those energy sections. I think they'll take me about an hour. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so that's the second coat done on the green. I say second coat because I am going to need one more layer. Obviously I'm using thin paint and it's quite a bright colour. So yeah, one more coat needed. I'm going to concentrate on the warriors I think for quite some time now. I'm actually going to break them down to their own batch paint sort of unit. I'm going to ignore everything else and just think of the warriors for now and just concentrate on them. Get the green done. The guns is what's going to take the time. So I'm going to concentrate on them as my main project for the next few hours. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it for today though. No more painting. I'm off to London. I'll catch you later. Can you see that? All right, there you go. Yeah, hey. there we go. Where for this day? Okay, so I'm home. It is Sunday night, uh, half past eight-ish, and yeah, obviously I went away on the day that the new Necron Codex reveals happened, and wow, those were some nice reveals. However, obviously where I've been away, I haven't been able to make any videos, and I'm back to work next week, and it's going to be a hectic week, plus I want to do painting as well, so... What I'm going to do is go live instead because that means I can kill two birds in one stone. Basically have a video about all of the new releases and not have to 
edit and make the video. So it's gonna help me with time saving. So I'm gonna go live at nine o'clock in about half an hour. I've got my setup, excuse the washing, just drying there. Um, so yeah, I've got my daughter's laptop there open with the chat box because I'm gonna go live on my phone so that I can record myself and the screen, which of course will have all the previews on. I did try to go live on my laptop, but my camera is incompatible with the current uh, software, so I've got to sort that out. I didn't really have time. This works quite well though, because I can show the screen and also my face. So, yeah, just preparing to go live. Should be fun, I enjoy going live. It's very scary. Uh, but once once you get going, it's not too bad. So I'm going to probably show off a bit of my painting, but not too much. Keep it secret for this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully next week, even though I am back to work, I might be able to get at least a few hours of painting in. And of course on Wednesday, I'm playing Richard. That should be fun as well. We're going to play a 500 point game and also a 2000 point game. So yeah, hopefully we'll get some good battle reports. Right, time to get ready to go live. Okay, so Monday the 14th, it's eight o'clock at night. I've had a very long day at work. Had to catch up on everything that I missed during my holiday. Even going in an hour earlier didn't seem to help. However, I'm home, I'm showered, I'm fed, and now I'm ready to paint. So I'm going to crack on painting the green on the Warriors, I'm going to start with the third and final coat, a green on the energy sections. Then I'm going to move on to, well, what I'm going to call the green rods, basically the gun rod sections. So I'm going to paint for at least two hours, maybe three, depends how I feel. Let's get painting. Okay, so it's quarter to 11. I've had a solid painting session, happy with that. I did the second coat on the like energy things and then I did a coat on all of the barrels of the Immortals and I did that on the Royal Warden as well because effectively the gun's very similar. Plus I've gone in and dry brushed the little energy things with mute green on all of the weapons that basically have those energy things so on all of the characters and all of the warriors so really happy with that okay so it's tuesday the 15th and it's eight o'clock at night and i've got the evening to myself so i'm going to work on the green rods now this is going to be the hardest and most well time consuming awkward and laborious parts of painting all of these miniatures but it's got to be done so I'm going to use mute green I know from experience it's going to take around three or four layers to get this green to cover nicely and we're going to go over all of the green rods with this color leaving the Caliban green in the recesses of course I'm not going to get it all done tonight but I'm going to do at least a couple of hours if not three hours of painting tomorrow I'm playing Richard so no painting tomorrow and an early start to set up the table which is coming at nine o'clock so it's going to be a busy day tomorrow however for now let's get painting I'm going to see if I can get a bit of green on Gazzy's flesh okay so I've been watching Big Mac Dan Skull and his live stream two hours in it's nearly 10 o'clock and I've done 30 warriors the first coat of paint I've got 10 left to do I must admit I am feeling a bit tired however I'm going to soldier on and get these final 10 done tonight and I think that will be a good night's work of painting okay 11 o'clock managed to do my full three hours and I got all of the green done, the first coat on all of the warriors and also on the Royal Warden guns at the same time. So, off to bed now, big game tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of fun and then it will be back to painting as soon as I can. Okay, so I've set up the table and uh, Richard doesn't know this yet but he's going to be featured in my vlog. Hello Richard. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. We just had our Greggs, we were... Uh, just um, getting our armies out basically aren't we? I'm just in here, I'm just setting up, we're going to have a 500 on a 2k so. Yep, it's going to be a fun day. Right, see you later.
Okay, so it's still Wednesday, it's 22.11. It's been a very busy day. I had two games with Richard. We were gaming from about nine in the morning to about five in the evening. A long day, but a lot of fun. And then this evening, my daughter and I went round my girlfriend's house and then we went out for dinner, which was really nice. And I've just got back home and I'm loading the footage of the main 2K battle report into the editor. It's currently conforming, so this takes quite some time before I can even start editing. And then I've got 45 minutes worth of footage to edit, which obviously means if I'm editing this, I'm not going to be able to paint. So it's the perils of having a YouTube channel, although it's very enjoyable. It does eat into your hobby time a bit. Um, however, I do want to bring this game to you because it was a fun game. So, I'm just going to let that finish conforming. and Then I think I'm going to pop off to bed. It's been a long day. I've now got a six day stint of working, six days in a row. So, we'll see how much time I get to actually get these miniatures painted. More to come. Okay, so it's Thursday and I've just got home from work. My girlfriend has said she's making us tacos, so we're just up to her place for dinner. Uh, this morning I did do a little bit of work, not painting, but I'll show you what I did. I started work on the crystals, so yeah, okay, I only did two. It was ten minutes before I went to work, but I was figuring if I do two every day, well, they'll gradually get done. Now last night, before I went to bed, after I recorded the clip that you just saw, I did a little bit of editing on the battle report. I did about half an hour's worth of editing. And depending on the time that I get home tonight, I'm gonna to crack on with the editing of that bat rep so that any other free time that I get can go towards painting these because I haven't painted since Tuesday. So yeah, the time is ticking by. But for now, it's taco time. <laughs> okay, this is a bit weird. So that's the mirror in the lift of me videoing. Hello, Nick. Okay, so dinner is being served, and I'm just relaxing on the balcony. Pretty nice view. It's much nicer view when you get a decent sunset, but even so. Very pleasant. Tacos! <laughs> They're nice, babe, thanks. Thanks. Very, very nice. How good. I'm happy you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so it is ten past ten. I've just uh, opened up the computer, loading up the battle report that I started editing last night. I've edited just over seven minutes in the half an hour last night. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how long this takes. The first couple of turns will take longer because I've got a lot of dice rolls and things. And then as the game progresses, uh, the editing becomes quicker. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can tonight. Okay, I'll catch you later. Okay, the battle report is edited. It is half past 11. I did have a little accident. Just check this out. This is what happened at uh, the end of the game. I balanced the camera on top of my uh, bookcase instead of using a tripod and... Uh, yeah, it fell off. I pulled it off by, with the microphone uh, lead. However, the camera seems okay, so that was really lucky. It landed on the bottom of the camera rather than on the lens or any other vulnerable point. So, I'm very lucky. However, uh, yeah, half past 11, I've got to render this out now, which I'm just going to start to do. Let's see how long that's going to take. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, and then I'm not going to save the video out tonight. I'm going to go to bed and uh, maybe save it out tomorrow night. We'll see what happens. No painting, but um, yeah, I will try to get some painting in as soon as I can. 
Right, Friday night, I've just got home from work, it's 20 past 6. I'm saving out the battle report, that's going to take a couple of hours to save out. I've just put the washing on, basically I need to do all of the stuff I usually do on a Friday when it's my day off. It felt very, very odd being at work today, however I had to go to work and that was that. This morning though, before work, I managed to do a few more Necron Crystals, which was pretty cool. Uh, before I can do anything else hobby-wise though, of course I've got to have tea, uh, I've got some ironing to do, and obviously hang the washing up, and I've got to do a shopping list to go shopping tomorrow night after work, because I usually go shopping on a Friday, so lots of boring stuff to do, and then hopefully I'm going to be doing some painting later because I'm not seeing my girlfriend tonight, so hopefully at least a couple of hours of painting later, but first of all, Let's get the boring jobs out of the way. Okay, so it's eight o'clock, all the boring jobs are done. This is still processing, taking slightly longer than it originally said. 45 minutes left still to go. So I'm now going to have a go and try to paint the next coat of mute green on these Gauss Reapers. I don't know that I'll get them all done. This is where I go in with a smaller brush and I just go around all of the edges, just sharpening everything up. I did go to Gaines Workshop today and I got myself some Tesseract Glow ready to experiment with this, maybe on the Scorpec Destroyer weapons. Okay, first of all though, we need to get these painted. Okay, so it's nine o'clock, I've been painting for an hour and I've got ten guns done. So there's another three hours left there to finish the Warriors off. This editor has just done the save, so that is all ready to go. However, I've got the 500 point patrol game to edit, which I'm going to just load in now. To be fair, I think it's only going to be a few minutes, that battle report, so I don't think it will take too long to edit. So I might have a break from the painting, edit that video, and then get back to those guns. Okay, so I've edited the battle report. It was longer than I thought, nine minutes. However, not too many dice rolls to show, and I managed to do that in half an hour. So I'm just rendering it, and then I'm going to save it out. And whilst it's saving, I'm going to paint. Okay, half past 10, I managed to do another 10, which was great, and I've also done the thumbnails for the battle reports. So I think I'm going to upload the battle reports and have a go at painting some more. If I can paint another five, well then at least I'll be over the halfway line with just five left and then one unit of ten. It makes it just sound a little bit better. Okay, half past eleven, the videos are in the system and all I've got to do now is watch them back, make sure they're okay and schedule them in. I did notice on one of the battle reports where I go beam me up and then I fade out, I forgot to put the fade in, so I literally just disappear. Um, don't think I'm going to re-edit that and re-save it and re-upload it just for that fade. So if there's nothing else wrong with the bats rep, uh, with the editing, when I watch it back, then I think I might just leave it. However, I have been painting as well, and I've done another seven of those guns. So all I've got left now is 13 with the second layer, and then it would just be one more layer, and the third layer should be a bit quicker. So I'm really happy with tonight's progress. That was really good, however, work tomorrow, so I better get some sleep. Okay, so it's Sunday morning. So yesterday in the morning, I watched the battle reports back, and uh, quite happy with them. One or two things that maybe I could have improved in the editing, but not worth the effort of redoing everything. So they're all done and ready to go. Then I went to work and then in the evening I went shopping and around my girlfriend's house with my daughter. We stayed around there, had a great night, a few glasses of wine, some nice food. And then I came home this morning. So I've just continued the work on this video, which is basically the one you're watching because I'm doing it every couple of days because otherwise it would be a lot of work to edit this vlog in one go. So yeah, what I do is I record a few days and then I put it into the editor and edit it. So I've been home for about half an hour. I've been editing this. It's now half past eight. 
I start this work thing that I'm doing today at 10 o'clock. It's going to be unusual, I'm not quite sure how it's going to be. I'm basically working in a chat room for an online event. I'm not sure it's going to be really busy, really quiet or maybe just in between. However, I don't start that till 10 o'clock so I've got well about just over an hour now before I have to prepare for work. So I'm going to paint and I'm going to try and get the 13 guns done on those warriors. Okay so it's quarter to 10. I managed to do 10 of those guns, just three left. I'm going to set up to do the chat room thing that I've got to do. I'm working from home. Potentially I might get some time to paint during the day. We'll have to see. I'm working till five o'clock. Then my girlfriend and Necron Girl are going to come to my house. Necron Girl stayed at my girlfriend's house today. And then we're going around my mum's for roast dinner tonight. So that will be nice. But for now, sadly, I've got to work. Okay, so it's two o'clock. I managed to do a little bit of painting, plus some painting in my lunch break. And I've made great progress. So I did the second coat on those three Gauss Reapers. And then I dotted all of the orbs and eyes on the scarabs. I also did all of the orbs and eyes on the plasmancers. No, well, what are they called? Plasmacytes. And also on these guys here, the murder buckets, which now I've painted the orb underneath their body, I've glued them into place. I'm really happy that I didn't glue them before painting because that would have been really awkward. So if I do get any more time I'm now thinking I might go onto the warrior uh, bases where some of them are standing on rocks and just start to base coat those because I don't want to do anything which is too highly concentrated because I'm backwards and forwards uh, from the painting so I'll leave the last layer on the Gauss Reapers for another time. Okay, so it's four o'clock now. I have managed to do all of the rocks on the scarab bases, just the first layer of Caliban green, and all of the rocks on the warrior feet. So that's good. I also did the little scarab eyes, which are dotted around the warriors. I'm undecided what to do with the base on these things. I'm thinking, do I paint them in my green colors, like my Necron terrain? or leave them silver. They are slightly different to my normal Necron terrain, but I feel they're just too silvery at the moment, so I'm half thinking I might paint them green like the rocks, but like I said, I'm undecided. I'll come back to that. Okay, so it's five o'clock. I did do a few of the rocks on the bases, of some of these miniatures here. I've also worked out how I'm going to paint the terrain on the plasma sites now after doing this. So I'm going to do a mixture I think of green. Some of the rocks I've done green or rocks, not rocks, rubble sorry. So the rocks are green. I've done some of the rubble in green and I'm going to do some of the rubble in silver but I will have a different silver to my Necrons. So I'll probably go over with a brown wash or something just to make them different. Illuminor has a mixture of rocks and this new material which is now materialized on my Necron bases. So this is something new for my bases. I think it's gonna match in quite well because I've got a Cities of Death board as well as a Necron board. So I'll paint this new material in the Cities of Death colors and that should just match my bases in. Anyway, that's it for today. It's time to have a roast dinner and spend some time with the family. Okay, so it's half past eight. We've had dinner, the girlfriend's gone home and I've got a snooker match ready to watch. Jimmy White versus Ronnie O'Sullivan, 2019. That should be a good game. It's a two hour uh, match. So I'm going to paint for two hours that would take me to about half past ten. I'm feeling pretty tired to be fair, so I think half ten will be enough for me tonight. I'm going to continue with the mute green. I'm going to paint the two uh, Royal Warden guns because I didn't do that uh, previously. And then probably work on the orbs 
on the reanimator. Okay, so it's quarter to 10, I've got 45 minutes left to paint, and I've just finished painting the first coat on all of the orbs and the little prisms on all of this side of the board. Usually the big orbs take around three, possibly four coats, depending on how big they are, and the small ones usually take two coats. So I've still got some more work to do on that, but with 45 minutes left, I think I'm going to just have some fun and paint some more of the terrain on the bases. I know the reanimator's got quite a bit of terrain that needs to be painted, Illuminor and some of these characters over here. So I'm just going to finish up painting some of that. Okay, half past ten and I've finished painting for tonight. I did good progress on the terrain painting, lots of the uh, rocks and some of the other bits and pieces all over the miniature and I've worked out how I'm going to paint these. Now these are still wet but I'm going for the opposite so the silver and the green in the opposite positions and that hopefully will make them look a little bit different and well it seems to work quite well. So that's it for today. I'm off to bed now, probably going to watch an episode of Game of Thrones and then try to have a good sleep, ready for work, tomorrow. Okay, Monday the 21st, so I've just been editing this vlog, the one that you're watching now, and yeah, it's nearly an hour long, so if you are watching this still, I doubt anyone will be watching for a whole hour, and more, uh, but I really hope you are enjoying it, and if you are, of course, let me know in the comments box below. Right, so it is 10 to 9, and I'm ready to do a little bit of painting tonight. I think I'm going to have to go in, no choice, I'm going to have to go in and do the final coat, or well, hopefully it will be the final coat, but the third coat on the Gauss Reaper Green Rod, so yeah. Let's do that, mute green all over the rods, we'll see if we can get it done tonight. Okay, so it's quarter past 11 and I finished the final, yes, the final coat on the Gauss Reapers. The mute green is done, so I'm really, really happy with that. I did that on all 40 warriors tonight, a good task achieved. Right, it's time for bed and let's see what happens tomorrow. Right, so in the comments, uh, I'm really thankful, I only post casually, but the art group on Facebook has been really inviting and welcoming. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a fantastic uh, group to be part of, as well as the Eddie Bay War Gaming Unification group. Especially if you're newer to posting on YouTube and you need a group that you can post in and get a good response from. I think both of those groups are, are really good for encouraging new content creators to um, to to post the stuff and to you know interact with other people in the community necrons and the, no, i'm just reading the end of nick's name there for some reason idic bear 40k necrons and more uh smile you are on the vlog i'm doing oh i'm on the i'm on the and feel free to shout yourself out excellent stuff way someone in this chat hasn't hit the like button says eisenhorn and the inquisitor will find out Okay, so it's Tuesday night, quarter past eight, and I'm back with a big mech Dan Skull for his live stream. And I attempted to get him to shout out his channel for himself, but that failed. So, big mech Dan Skull, the link is in the description below. Check him out, cool dude. And it's time to paint. So, today I'm going to go into the wires on the Warrior Guns and I'm going to paint them green. My thinking is, I've got 40 warriors, I'm going to paint them as if they're two squads of 20. So one will have silver wires, one will have green wires, which is how I did my warriors when I originally painted them back in the day. Then I'm going to split the 20 warriors up into two units of 10 by what I put on the bases. So the basing material is gonna be different within the unit of 20, so that's the plan. So first of all, I'm going to paint green on 20 of the wires. Okay, so it's quarter past eight and I haven't painted a single thing, but what I have been doing is sorting these warriors out because although I thought they were all in order, 
Well, they didn't seem to be, so I had to spread them all out and put them into the poses. So there's four of each pose, so I had to put uh, all the poses together and then split them out so that each unit of 10 has one of each model in it. So now they're all sorted, now I can paint. Right, it's 11 o'clock, I've just finished painting. I did two coats of Warpstone Glow on those cables, on 20 of them. That's just a standard block colour, so there's going to be no special blending or effects on there. But what it will do, as I said, is distinguish that unit from that unit there. And if I have another unit of 20, I'll paint them in the mute green, so I'll have three different greens. Not only have I done that, but I've also done the first layer on the symbol on the chest plate. So I did that on all 40 of them, and then just one more layer to go, and that's the chest plate done. Then all I have to do is the eyes and black in the gun, because the gun's a bit messy from the dry brushing at the moment. So great progress on those 40 warriors. Still plenty to do, but I've got two days off now, so I'm hoping to get a lot more painting done over the next two days. For now though, it's time for bed. Alright, all ready for school? Okay. Got everything in there. I think you got my keys. You don't need the keys, I'm home. I'm going to be home painting, literally, all day. Thanks. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day at school. Love you. Bye. Okay, so half past eight, Necron Girl's just gone to school. I've selected a match. It's five hours, 40 minutes, so that should keep me entertained during the painting. Ronnie O'Sullivan versus Steve Davis, Welsh Open 2004. Looking forward to that one. Now today's task is going to start with the next layer on the green symbols on the chest plates of those warriors. And then I think I'm going to dot the eyes on the warriors as well. That will all be done with mute green. However, I've got somebody visiting the house at 9 o'clock, so in half an hour's time. Uh, they won't be here for very long, but I thought rather than getting all of my paint stuff out, I'm going to work on the crystals for half an hour. I did do some uh, yesterday, but I've still got a bunch of crystals to do, so half an hour, I think I'll just work on those. Okay, so it's just gone nine o'clock, the person's been and gone, and I did half an hour of doing these crystals. It doesn't look like I've done many, but there's a fair few done there. Just doesn't matter how many I do, it doesn't seem like many there. However, I am getting there with the crystals, but for now I'm going to paint. Okay, so it's half past ten and I've done the highlight on the chest plate symbol and also the eyes. And I have to say, well I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again, I am loving these warrior models. They are so cool. I mean... Look at that guy, his eye is hanging out, so cool. So I really enjoyed painting those. Uh, still more to do on the Warriors, however, I'm going to go back to this tray and I'm going to do the next coats on the orb. So just one coat done so far, so I'm going to go back in with the mute green and build up the layers. Before I do that though, I'm going to have something to eat because I haven't had breakfast yet. So eat and then paint the orbs. Okay, so it's half past one and I finished all of the mute green coats on this side of the board. So everything that had a base coat has now had at least two, three or four coats, the big orbs having four coats. And yeah, that's all done, looking pretty good, working on Luminor as well. So I'm gonna break for lunch now and then I think I'm going to go back over to this side of the table and work on the warriors again. This time I need to black in the guns. So that's probably, to be fair, the biggest, longest sort of single task that's left to do. Once I've done that, then all I've got to do on this side is I'm thinking white faces on these guys and I'm thinking of gold rims around the buckets 
on these guys. I mean, these are protecting Cryptex after all, so it would make sense to have a bit of gold on them. And then once that's done, apart from the bases, that's going to be this side of the board pretty much done. And then I can work on this side. I'm thinking with the Royal Wardens, who also have to have their guns blacked in, I might do one of the wires green and leave one silver. Now, whilst they don't actually join the units, I think it might be nice to have sort of markings matching the warriors when they're with the warriors. So that's what I'm thinking on the two Royal Wardens. It just might make them look a little bit different from each other as well. Okay, so now I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to come back and paint the warriors. Okay, it's five past four, and this has just come out from Games Workshop, Fear the Reapers, Necron Destroyer Cult. So the painting is gonna go on hold, and I'm gonna make a video. Okay, so it's six o'clock, I've just finished recording the video, making the thumbnail, editing the video, and I'm currently just rendering the video ready to save it out so that I can upload it to YouTube to get it up as quickly as possible for you guys. So of course, the painting is delayed. However, I did do some painting, and I managed to black in 10 plus how many did I do? Plus two. So I did 12 guys in that time. As I said, it was quite time consuming. So I'm just gonna work on this video for now. I'll be back to the Warriors later if I don't see my girlfriend. If I do, of course, I'll have to wait till tomorrow. But the most exciting thing at the moment for me is to get this video uploaded to YouTube. Right, the video is finally up on YouTube. It's been up for about 20 minutes. I've got 188 views already with 25 likes. It's going quite well. It's now five past seven. I've heard from my girlfriend and she's been studying all day. Uh, she's doing an online course. So um, she's feeling a bit tired. So I'm gonna have the evening to myself. So I'm going to eat now. Necron girl, of course, Needs to eat too, so we're going to eat, and then I'm going to get back to those warriors. So I'll probably be back about eight o'clock. Right, it's eight o'clock, and it's now time to do some more painting. Let's see how many of these guns I can get blacked in tonight. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, and I managed to get 30 of these guns complete today. So just 10 left to do tomorrow. As I said, I've got tomorrow off. I'm going to do some housework tomorrow. The housework which I usually do on a Friday because I'm working on Friday, so there'll be some ironing and stuff to do. But I'm gonna spend as much time as I can painting, of course, to get these done. For now though, it's time to sleep. Okay, Thursday the 24th of September and it's 10 o'clock. I've done all my jobs, I've done the ironing, did the shopping list and also reply to all of the comments on the video that I put up yesterday because I like to keep on top of everyone's comments and make sure I reply to everyone. However, now it's time to paint. I'm going to finish the guns on those 10 warriors, blacking them in, and I'm going to do the Royal Warden guns as well because they also need to be blacked in. So I'm going to start by doing that. Right, it's just gone 12 o'clock and I've now finished blacking in all of the guns on the warriors. And I also did that on the Royal Wardens there. And you can see some new colors appearing on the tray. I've been working on the base and I'm going to paint obviously these dead 40k things. I think this is a dreadnought arm potentially. I'm not really sure to be honest. However, they are going to be blood angels. So I've been base coating them red, just the first coat. This guy on Illuminor, I nearly did a conversion actually just put a normal space marine on there but the way the model is with this the energy thing coming down into the face it just looks so cool that I don't think I could have done it justice so I wanted to keep it on there and I thought well just paint it red and it will look like a blood angel so that's what I'm doing so the base coat is done I'm going to break for lunch now and then I'm going to get back to painting. Okay, so it's nearly one o'clock, I've eaten, and I think now I'm going to work on these HQs here because 
Well, first of all, I need to tidy them up after the dry brushing. So, for example, on these Royal Wardens here, I don't know if you can see it, but some of the leads there, for example, have got some gold dry brushed on. I just need to tidy them up, work out exactly where I'm going to be putting the next colours and uh, just go from there really. So I think I'm going to work on these HQs next. Okay, so it's coming up to three o'clock and I've finished doing some work on all the HQs. To be fair, you may not be able to see a difference at all. However, they are a lot neater now. So basically I've gone in with the silver and the gold and just tidied everything up from all the dry brushing that I did. I've also started work adding some of the extra silver colours where it needs to go. For example, on the little cables there underneath the chest piece and also on the spines on these HQs, just like so, because, well, that's what I do. My old painting scheme is silver spines and also the wires underneath the chest there. However, unlike when I first started painting, I now know about washes, so I will be washing those little wires just to give them some depth etc. So yeah, coming on quite nicely. I think I'm going to work on the Scorpec guns because there's only two of them. Obviously however I paint the new stuff now is going to be the colour scheme for the rest of the miniatures that I buy uh, in the future. So yeah, I'm laying down some new colour schemes which means I'm starting to think about my next layer on these which is shining gold so I put shining gold on my HQs let's just bring this guy in so for example on his staff there we get shining gold I don't know if that's focusing or not uh, but basically I introduced the shining gold and who the hell is that keeps messaging me it's Paul William Simpson you're interrupting my videos right put this on mute come on Oh, it's mute, it's muted. Right, where was I? Okay, yeah, Shining Gold, which is a discontinued paint, but I do use it quite a lot on my HQs. However, now I'm painting a new range, like the Scorpec range of models. I'm thinking of maybe using a current gold instead. Uh, like, I can't remember what it's called, but the one that you get in the first... Um, issue of Conquest. can't remember what it's called anyway, one of the new golds. So when it comes to painting these Scorpec Destroyers, I'm thinking of adding the new gold uh, rather than Shining Gold, just because well, going forward, Shining Gold is going to be very hard to get. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to have a little break now and then I'll get back to painting. Okay, so it's ten past three and I'm working out what to paint next. I think I'm going to paint the tabards on the HQs here. Now all of the tabard stroke cloaks have a different colour in my army so that's how I introduce some sort of colour into the army is on the HQ's tabards and I bring that colour into their weapons as well. Now to be fair I've got quite a few HQ's and I've used pretty much most of the colours that are available, at least the primary colours in one shape or another so I'm probably going to have to start duplicating some of the colours which I think is okay because I'm definitely wanting to paint one of the Royal Warden's cloaks in purple because well it's a royal colour and of course Royal Warden so why not so I'm going to look at these cloaks I might have to leave some of them silver just because they might be impossible to actually get to, to paint another colour on there. So I'll have a close look at them and go from there. So it's time to get back to painting. Right, half past five and I'm going to stop painting now for a bit. So I've managed to do all of those cloaks, stroke, tabards, except for the two plasmancers. I still need to do those. So yeah, I did Illuminor 1 in Dark Flesh. I've got the colours here, just so I remember. Dark Flesh, I wanted a dark colour, but also something that matched in the Dead Blood Angel on the base. So a reddy brown seemed to match him, because he's quite a dark character. 
and then the Royal Wardens purple and royal blue which I think is quite suitable colours and then on the two overlords I went for an orangey colour and also green these of course are just base coats and I did a lot of layers just thin layers building up the colour and then for the Scorpec Lords I went for red and yellow I wanted quite bright colours for them just to indicate that they're quite aggressive on the table and whilst I had the red out I continued to base coat the dead blood angels on the bases so those are all base coated now so I'm going to break, have some dinner, and then later tonight I'm going to paint some more. I've got work tomorrow and I'm seeing my girlfriend in the evening, so no painting tomorrow. I then have work on Saturday, and then I've got a week off, which hopefully I think I'm now in a position where I'm going to be able to finish these during the week, which will be awesome. Anyway, now it's time to have some food. Okay so it's eight o'clock earlier today the Silent King post was posted by the Warhammer team not really worth making a video about because it's only about the design and the painting of it but wow what a model it looks phenomenal and I can't wait to paint it however I'm also thinking how the hell am I going to paint it? Especially the Blackstone stuff. I really hope GW make a tutorial on how they painted that Blackstone. Anyway, back to today's painting task. And that's the two Plasmancer cloak things. I'm trying to work out what colour to paint them. And I've come up with these colours. So, McCrag Blue because I haven't really got a blue, light blue one. I've got, obviously, the royal blue one. Um, and Screamer Pink. I haven't actually got a pink cloak yet in the whole army. I've been reluctant to do point pink. And to be honest, I'm still not 100% convinced. However, if I go for a dark pink rather than a light pink, it could work. I think we'll find out when I actually put the paint on the miniature. Okay, so it's half past ten and I've just finished painting for the night. I painted the Cryptex just there, not Cryptex, Plasmancers. Basically, they are still Cryptex, aren't they? But anyway, I painted them blue and that purpley colour, which has come out quite burgundy, so it looks pretty cool. Pretty happy with that, and obviously I painted the staffs as well still have the gold to go in between those colours. I've also been working on the green, those little pieces coming out of the top of the Cryptex and the guns on the Scorpec Lords. The majority of the gun there will end up black but yeah I've made great progress. It's been a good couple of days painting. Like I said no painting tomorrow but potentially on Sunday might be able to get a little bit more done. Okay so it's 11 o'clock on Friday and I had a nice evening with the girlfriend. We had fish and chips for tea, very nice indeed. And now I'm home and I have actually done a very little amount of painting, more of an experiment really. I wanted to find out how these murder buckets would look with the gold on them so I just painted one and I'm really happy with it. I've given it a little bit more detail than it had before. It was very silver before and I think it matches in the fact that it's well basically one of the HQ's bodyguards. So I did that and I've also painted the second colour on the weapon there of one of the overlords. There's still plenty to do but that's basically my next stage of painting is to paint that gold on the miniatures. Now the gold I'm using is Gehan's Gold, Gehan's Gold, I think it's pronounced. Basically it's the modern day version of Shining Gold. It is a bit redder but I find if you give it a very good shake and a very good mix it doesn't come out that red. So that's the paint I'm going to use. Now it's Saturday tomorrow, I am working and then I'm going around with my girlfriends for the evening. 
I have Sunday off and the rest of next week until Sunday, so I go back to work next Sunday. So I'm probably going to spend the day with my girlfriend tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to see. I might not be painting the whole of this weekend, so we will have to see what happens. But hopefully next week I can get all of these finished. Okay, so it's Sunday evening. So yesterday, Saturday, I went to work, then went straight around my girlfriend's house, stayed over there, uh, spent the day with her today. We had roast dinner and everything, really nice time. I did manage to do this whilst I was around there. So I've now cut up all of the crystals. So they're ready to be primed and then obviously painted. And during the day, this happened. So yeah, we now know that we are going to get the Necron Codex on the 3rd of October. And then obviously it's gonna come out one week after that. So that's when I need to get all of my miniatures finished. I'm hoping to get it done way before then, but that's now my total last minute deadline. Now this little post here is from the Idic Beer Wargamers Unification Facebook group. If you're not following us on Facebook, then definitely check us out. Just search Idic Beer and you'll be able to find it and then just ask to join. So of course, that means that next week we are going to have some community posts regarding the Necron Codex. Interestingly, in their little uh, video that GW put up, they said they're gonna focus heavily on the Crusade stuff, which, well, as you know, I'm not really into the Crusade stuff, but I'm sure there'll be lots of other posts as well. So I have a feeling that during the week next week, which is quite handy that I've got the week off, around four o'clock-ish is usually when the posts go up, I'll be making some videos. So not only am I gonna be painting, I'm gonna be making videos. It's gonna be a very busy week, but a very exciting week. I'm gonna be buying my pre-orders from Mike's Gaming Store. It's an awesome, awesome place to buy your stuff and I will link it up in the description below. But yeah, come and join us on Facebook. Okay, so tonight, yes, that's my washing and drying there. <laughs> tonight, um, I think the plan is I'm going to do the washes on all of those coloured cloaks that I've done. So I think that will be the plan. Wash those so they can thoroughly dry overnight. And then I can highlight them. And then, of course, it's back to painting the Gihanna's Gold. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock and, well, I've made good progress. So I washed all of those bright colours. I used sepia on the yellow. I used a red wash on the red and the purpley pinky colour. And then I used a blue wash on both of the blues and a purple wash on the purple. A green wash on the green, an orange wash on the orange. And on the brown wash, I used Agrat's Earthshade. I also washed the uh, Blood Angels. However, they were done in my usual washes. So I did a red wash first, let it fully dry. And then I did a watered down brown wash. And then when that was dry, I did another red wash. That's all ready for highlighting. Now, whilst I was waiting for things to dry, I went into the murder buckets and I painted gold on all of them and I've changed it slightly from my little test moving the gold up to the top sections of course I need to wash the gold as well that should look pretty cool when finished now whilst I had the washes out I also went into the terrain sections on the bases that aren't Necron pieces and I washed that with a brown wash just to basically tried to make them look a little bit different from the Necron Silver. I've also gone in to the little chest, not chest, um, are they chest? Neck pieces, that's it. Went into the neck pieces. I did two coats of Gihan's Gold around the neck pieces. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to paint the weapons. I've seen some very nice green weapons. They look awesome but I just don't know that I want to be normal uh, with that. I don't think I want to do what everyone else does. I'm definitely going to paint the 
handle sections black now that will help uh, separate the silver from the swords and the body and I've been experimenting with that Tesseract glow paint so lots of different tests here but the one I'm thinking of is this one on the arm of this orc this orc is my little test piece it's been painted over about a hundred times but anyway basically lay down a layer of white let that dry and then wash it with the Tesseract glow it gives quite a cool glowing sort of green effect and I'm thinking if I do that in the grooves of the weapon so go in with a very small brush and just paint white into the grooves I then go over with this and I should end up with some pretty cool looking weapons hopefully and maybe just a little bit different to how a lot of people have painted them we will see, I'm still thinking about that, but that's currently the idea. Now I've also been working on the thumbnail for the live stream which I'm planning to do about the pre-orders, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go live either tomorrow or the next day, and I'm thinking I might just try to paint whilst going live, so that should be fun. However, for now, it is time for bed, and then tomorrow I've got something to do in the morning, uh, so I'll probably start painting about half past nine and my next task is going to be to highlight all of those cloaks and tabards that I've washed and then I'll continue painting the gold. Okay, I was just off to bed and something that was annoying me, well, annoyed me enough to actually change it. So that was the little rivets that were on that little pole which they would be fine if this wasn't going to be in my Necron colours, but as I'm having that in my Necron colours, I didn't like the rivets, I didn't think they matched, so I've just cut them off and I've done some battle damage, and obviously I'll have to repaint it. Okay, so it's Monday the 28th of September, and it's half past nine, and I've just been blue tacking my crystals onto the board, ready to prime them. I did experiment a little bit after having some Wargame exclusive miniatures where they had flat crystal tops rather than shaped pointed ones. So I've done a few of them with flat tops just to mix things up. Not sure if I like them, but we'll find out as I proceed. First of all, I'm going to spray them black. Then I've got to base coat them Caliban green. I wish I had the Caliban Green spray paint, but they don't produce it anymore. It's now discontinued, so I don't own an airbrush. Probably this is the one time I really wish I did. However, I don't, so I've got to manually paint Caliban Green all over these once I've primed them. Okay, so I've primed them black, and it's nearly 10 o'clock, and I'm ready to do some painting. So I'm going to dry brush all of the cloaks, gonna use the base color, just add a little bit of white to the mix and dry brush it. I might go another step further as well, adding a little bit more white depending on how it looks. So yeah, I'm going to do that first. Okay, so 11 o'clock and I finished highlighting all of the cloaks. I did exactly what I said I was going to do, except on Illuminor's cloak, after I did the couple of highlights, it was just too bright and I wanted to keep Illuminor's cloak quite dark. So I went over the highlights with uh, the Agrath's Earth Shade, just did another shade over the highlights which brought them back down. But yeah, everything is looking pretty cool. I've also gone in after all of the dry brushing and just touched up any of the messy bits. There are a couple of bits where obviously the dry brushing just went onto some of the other stuff, so I just tidied that all up. I'm currently watching a very long game, Steve Davis versus Dennis Taylor, 1985 World Championship Final. What a classic game, and I'm watching the whole match. That's 13 hours and 20 minutes. So that is definitely gonna keep me entertained whilst I paint. So I haven't highlighted the Blood Angels yet because I do sort of blending when I do the Blood Angels. So that's something else I'm going to do later. I think for now I'm going to lay down the Gihanna's Gold all over these HQs. Okay, so it's just gone half past 12 and I've been painting the gold. I've also been doing some silver because I've been matching these into some of my old paint schemes. 
Now the Scorpec guys have that collarbone thing so I went into some of my old models these really really old models which have Egyptian style collarbones the same as on the Scorpex but also those old warriors that I've got as well so I use those for reference material and I've painted on the collarbones I've also used some of my old miniatures to work out exactly where to put the other colours so what I do for my HQs if I, I have silver where the Necron symbol is and then I paint the symbol gold rather than the normal troops get green symbols so I get gold symbols on my HQs so I painted those and all the collarbones and the head pieces on these guys I painted the Luminor's face and also his little um, chest plate section I also introduced what I did over here on the murder buckets into some of the HQs that had it so basically that circular thing that goes around the heads on Illuminor and also on the Plasmancers so I painted those with the uh, Gehenna's gold as well just to bring some continuity into the miniatures so even though the HQs are totally different from each other I still want to have the same sort of cutters going through them all so I'm going to break for lunch and then when I come back I've still got the gold to paint on the weapons. Okay so it's half past one, I've just scheduled in the live stream for tomorrow at one o'clock. That will give me a couple of hours before Necron Girl comes home from school. I don't think I'll be on there for two hours but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to paint and also just uh, talk about the new pre-orders and just Necrons in general should be fun and going at one o'clock is quite unusual I usually go in the evening so hopefully a few different people will be able to join in anyway for now it's back to painting and I'm going to paint the weapons okay so it's nearly four o'clock and I've just finished painting the weapons I got my overlord warsai here just for reference and they are coming along really nicely now I also painted the eyes on all of the HQs and on the Scorpec destroyers starting to bring these guys to life now. I've been working on Illuminor's base as well, just laying down some base coats, the skin colour and also that energy thing. I think I want to make it a little bit more uh, gory, let's say, than how the studio have painted him. So I think uh, that Blood Angel is going to die just a real horrible death by the time I finish painting. Okay, so that's that so far. Uh, my girlfriend has just messaged me. She's not feeling too well, so she's uh, not coming round tonight. So I'm going to have a little break, paint some more, and then I'll have tea, and then do some more painting later tonight. Okay, I've just been painting and I realised, I just looked at my phone, it's Warhammer Community Post, new rules, I need to make a video. Okay, that was a big reveal, so yeah, it's a 20 minute video, it's now 20 past 7, I'm just rendering the video, ready to save out and then upload to YouTube, I'm just about to munch on some pizza whilst this is saving. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock, I've got another 10 minutes of the save to do, and then I can upload it to YouTube, share it, and then answer all the comments, because I'm sure I'm going to get quite a few comments on this one. So, going back to painting and earlier, so I went into the reanimator's top carapace, and I painted gold on the symbols. I've also highlighted the Blood Angels. Now I know earlier I said I was going to wet blend the red, uh, but to be honest with you, I didn't think I needed to because these things are so detailed, there's no big flat pieces to them. So in the end I just dry brushed them. So I dry brushed them with Blood Red and then with Evil Sun Scarlet, I think it is, basically the orangey red. So I did that on both of those Blood Angels pieces and also on this guy on Illuminor's base. So coming along quite nicely. However, as I said, I had to stop to make the video. So maybe later on tonight I'll do some more painting 
we'll have to wait and see. Oh yes, I almost forgot, I also did the Scorpec Destroyer's gun there, the green sections. Just uh, two or three layers just to build up the green. I've still got to paint that gun black, which actually I might do later if I get some time. Okay, it's half past eight. I'm just waiting for the video to be processed. 95% on upload. Then I've just got to do the sort of ad suitability, video elements and visibility. But this is what makes doing YouTube very exciting. The prospect of uploading a video which people are either going to like or they're going to hate. It's going to be interesting this one to see what the comments are going to be. Let's put adverts after the video. I do not do it during the video because I think A, it's greedy, but B, also it just ruins the viewing pleasure um, of people watching and well there's a good chance that people might just click off because of an advert and we all know that growing a YouTube channel means keeping people watching so I don't put mid-roll adverts on. Okay I'm just going to finish the rest of this upload process and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting this one on YouTube. Okay the video has been up for 45 minutes and it's ranking number one. Look at those, I've got fireworks. <laughs> Good old YouTube. So yeah the video is doing well, uh, 646 views, loads of comments loads of replies to comments so that's keeping me very busy it's quarter past nine now um, I am going to attempt to do a little bit more painting before I go to bed so yeah let's see what I can achieve okay so it's nearly quarter past ten now and I haven't been painting I've been editing the video which you're currently watching so I've done the last two or three days which I hadn't uh, previously edited. This video is getting very long, an hour and a half at the moment. I think it's going to be about two hours by the time I've finished. I wonder who's still watching this right now. If you are then thanks so much, I hope you're enjoying it. Alright, so let's just see if we can get just a little bit more painting uh, done before I... well basically <laughs> before my body gives up. Okay, so I haven't done anything. It's still quarter past ten and I've just looked at my comments on the video which now has about 1400 views and I've got lots of comments and as you know I like to reply to all of my comments so I think I'm just going to pack the painting stuff away, uh, concentrate, concentrate on replying to all of my comments and by the time I do that it's going to be bedtime and then I'm going to have another mammoth day of painting tomorrow. I'm going to go live at one o'clock and then uh, later in the day there's going to be another preview and it's going to be about, uh, oh yes that's right, custom dynasty codes. So that's going to be interesting and I'll be making another video so it's going to be another busy day. Okay so it's, what day is it? Tuesday the 29th and it's 10 past 9 in the morning so I did two hours worth of comments last night and I did about another hour's worth of comments this morning. The video's done really well, 2.4k views with a great 11.3% click through rate and an awesome 10 minutes 28 second average view duration so going very well. I've also been planning my live stream, I've just made some notes, we've got three pages worth of notes so that will be fun, I'm looking forward to going live but for now my task is back to the painting, I'm going to black in the weapons on the Scorpec Lords, I think that will be my first starting point and then probably the Scorpec Destroyers. I'm going to paint till about 11 o'clock and then I will stop have lunch, prepare for the live stream. I'm going live at one o'clock and I think I'm going to paint my crystals uh, whilst going live because that will be an easy thing to paint. I won't have to think about it whilst I'm painting and it's a job that basically just needs to be done. So I'm going to base coat the crystals whilst live and uh, yeah, I'll be back a little bit later. Okay, so it's half past 11. I've just finished blacking in all of those weapons on the Scorpec destroyers. And now I've got a nice separation from the body and weapon. I think I will still do those uh, special effects that I was talking about on the weapons just to 
give them something a little extra. And then I've been painting the Scorpec Lords, the guns and their weapons as well. I did a couple of thin coats of black on everything. Okay, so I'm going to break for lunch now. Watch an episode of Game of Thrones. I'm currently on season six, right at the end of season six. So watch that and then prepare to go live. Okay, I'm all set up to go live. I've got my new super clamp there with my mobile phone on. That's really cool. I'm loving that. It also means that I can just rotate this round if I need to, maybe to show off what's down on here, for example. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So looking forward to this. Let's go live. Okay, we are live. Here's everyone. Here's their comments. We've got the hobby corner. We've got calm planes. Long videos are the best to watch whilst hobbying. Excellent, because this video is long. <laughs> okay, back to the live stream. Okay, live stream has finished. I managed to do the base coat of all of those crystals. However, I still have those to do. I think I'm going to continue to do these crystals and get the base coat out of the way. And with all the comments that I had in the live stream after asking the question, I think I've decided I might just dry brush these crystals rather than edge highlighting them. That really will speed up painting these crystals. So I might experiment and just see how that looks. So yeah, it is now 20 past two. So I'm going to paint some more on these crystals. Okay, 10 to four, and I've just finished base coating all of those crystals. So I'm going to answer some more comments as I await the community post, which as I said, is apparently on custom dynasties. Okay, five past four, and it's a post on the Silent King, nothing to do with dynasties. Okay, time to make a video. Okay, so it's nearly six o'clock. I've made that video, I'm rendering it out now, ready to save and upload to YouTube. I've done the thumbnail, but now Games Workshop have also released the Dynasty post and it's some reveals of the Dynasty Dynastic codes. So yeah, I need to make another video. Uh, I have now packed the painting away. This is not going to happen tonight. I'm not sure if I'm seeing my girlfriend. If I am, I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow for the Dynastic Code post. Uh, but first of all, I need to get this one basically finished and uploaded. Okay, so it's 20 past nine. I'm just saving the video out. I've got another 12, 13 minutes to save it. And then I can upload it to YouTube. I've got a bunch of comments to reply to about the Silent Kings video. And then this one's gonna go up. So I'm gonna be up for the rest of the night doing comments basically. So that's that's done. I spoke to my girlfriend. We're going there tomorrow. So we, me and Necron girl um, after school. So yeah, I've got tomorrow until school time to do some more painting. I know I've been a bit delayed today with the video making, but I'm hoping that tomorrow will be Space Marine posts rather than Necron ones, because obviously I'll be at my girlfriend's house, I won't be able to record any videos. I have a sneaky feeling it will be uh, Space Marines because we've already had two days of Necron posts, but we will see. Okay, so that's that. I'll see you in the morning, ready to do some more painting. Okay, so it's the 30th of September, Wednesday. I've done some more comments, I've been shopping, and now Necron Girl has just gone to school. It's half past eight, and it's time to paint. And I have decided to paint the Scorpec Destroyer weapons how I've been thinking. So I'm going to do white in all of the little recesses, and then go over that with Tesseract Glow. Should be fun to paint and a little bit different. So, let's do it. Okay, so that took me an hour. So I've done that white in all of the grooves. I'm going to let that fully dry before I put the Tesseract Glow over the top. So I was thinking what I might do now is dry brush all of the black. So I do a very gentle dry brush with lead Belcher all over the weapons, just to give it a little extra detail. But my main focus really is to keep the weapons looking black, so it will be a very light dry brush. Okay, half past ten, I've done all of the dry brushing. That's the Warriors finished now. I could potentially go in and paint green on some of the little wires hanging down, but 
I'm going to paint them how I painted them originally, basically to look like T800s, but with green eyes as opposed to red eyes. That was my vision originally, so I'm going to stick to that. And of course, I did the dry brushing on the black over this side of the table as well on the Scorpex stuff. I've also put in the Tesseract Glow. Now it's still wet, but I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool. And what I like about it is my paint scheme, my original paint scheme of mainly silver, well, it still looks like that. So I've got the extra green in there. I've got something cool on the new weapons, but I think it still matches into my original paint scheme. So really happy with that. That is drying. One thing I will say about using the Tesseract uh, Glow is you need to be as neat as you can when painting that white into the grooves. Sounds obvious, but the neater you are, the better the effect will look. Okay, so that's all done. I've got some white on my wet palette still, so I think I'm going to paint the white faces on the reanimator and also over here on the little plasma sites. Okay, so it's just gone 11 and I've now finished the white. So I did several thin coats on the faces. I think they look a lot better. We've got some extra detail on them now, which really stands out. And of course, on the reanimator. So I think my next task is to wash and highlight the gold on the murder buckets, and also some of the gold over here on the HQs. And to be fair, once that's done, that will be this side here, this whole box complete, apart from the bases. All of the HQs would have been done as well, apart from Illuminor, still got to do him. The Scorpec Destroyers would have been done, and it's just the reanimator left to do, which to be fair, all I've got to decide is whether I'm going to paint some of those wires, either in green or gold. I'm not 100% sure, maybe I need to start uh, just putting it together so I can see how it looks in its current sort of painted state. So, that's going to be my next task then. Finish the gold. Okay, so it's half past 12 and that's all of the gold done. I also found a couple of extra bits which I'd forgotten to do, mainly on these what I call tomb blade pieces. So I had to do the green on the aluminum one, both coats, and I had to do the second coat on the plasmancers. So that's done. I've also glued this guy onto his base. I didn't glue this one onto the base because I still have to dry brush the rocks, but this guy doesn't have any rocks. I cut the stem off so that I could reposition him into a position where he doesn't fall over. So I'm going to break for lunch, and when I come back, I'm going to dry brush all of the rocks on all of the bases, and then I'll be ready to basically glue all of these onto the bases, and then do the rest of the base. Of course, the reanimator is still to be finished and also Illuminor, but everything else here is pretty much done. So great, great progress. Right, let's have some food. Okay, so it's three o'clock now. I've been painting since one o'clock and I've been dry brushing the green and the green is all finished. So I went over first with Warperstone green and then I dry brushed everything again with Mute green. All of the rocks on all of the bases are done and I've dry brushed all of the crystals. I say all of the crystals because it doesn't look like many in there, but I've actually counted them. There's 83 crystals in total. That was hard work, but much better to dry brush them than to edge highlights them. So job done. These of course are the rocks which I already made. So the basing material is ready to go. Now I am going to have a little break, but the next job and the final job on this side here in this box is to go over the miniatures with a black wash. I'm not going to wash everything. All I'm going to do is just tidy up any of the dry brushing that may have got into areas I don't want it. Usually on the ribs of the warriors, sometimes you get silver going in there. So I'll just run a little bit of black wash into the little silver areas that I want to make black and then these will all be done. I will double check that I painted everything exactly how I wanted it whilst I'm doing that little wash and that will be that side of the table done. 
I need to do the same on the Scorpec destroyers too, and that will be of those done. All of the HQs are also done, but again, I need to go over with that little black wash. And then it's just the reanimator to complete, and then of course, Illuminor. Okay, so Necron Girl will be home soon, so I'm going to have a little break. I'm going to contact my girlfriend to find out what's happening for the rest of the day, but I believe we're going round, we'll probably have dinner there, and then I'll come back home later. Okay, so it's 10 to 4 now, and I've spoken to my girlfriend. We're going there at 6.30, so I'm going to leave my house at 6. So I've got two hours. I'm going to keep an eye out on the community uh, site just to see what posts go up today. And I've now remembered I need to paint the little stems on these scarabs black just to black them in from when I dry brush them. Okay, half past five and I've done quite a bit of work. So I did black in the little stems on the scarabs. I then glued some crystals on six of the scarabs because I'm going to have one unit marked with crystals and one without. And then I glued some sand on the bases. So that's drying, so I can paint the sand and then eventually put the scarabs in place. I've also done the four cryptothrolls there. Two will have crystals and two will have rocks. The rocks I glue on after I've painted the sand. So that's what I've been doing hobby-wise. There has been a Necron Community post. First of all, there was a Space Marine one and then this one went up, but it's all about Crusade and Honestly, it just doesn't float my boat, so I don't think I'm going to make a video. However, it was very cool to see some pictures of the Necrons not painted in the Silence King's Dynasty. These very green Necrons. They potentially look cool, but I'm also thinking they just look too green. I don't think I like them. There's another picture down here somewhere. Here we go. The reanimator looks pretty cool. But some of these here just look too green. I don't think I'm a fan. They're very well painted. You know, they're they very well painted, you can tell that. But I don't think I like them. I like silver Necrons. <laughs> I think green works well for the vehicles, but I think infantry just work better when they're silver. Just my personal preference. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready now, and then we're going to head off to my girlfriend's house. And uh, yeah, have a nice time there. So, I'll see you later. Okay, so I'm back. It's 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to do a little bit more work on these. Putting sand on the bases. There's quite a lot of bases here to sand. So I'll just do a few tonight and then I'll continue tomorrow. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. I've put sand only on 20 bases. And I've stuck some crystals on the other ones. This unit of 10 is going to have one crystal on, and this unit of 10 is going to have two crystals on. So they're just drying. I just used plastic glue to glue them on. So in the morning, I'm going to start off by putting sand on those bases. Okay, nine o'clock on the 1st of October. I've just done some ironing, and I've also primed all of the bases that only have sand on their base. Uh, with obviously a spray paint. The others that have rocks and sand on will just have to be manually uh, painted black. So my first task, as I said, is to put sand on all of these bases here. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock and I've done all of those bases and I've also done the two little plasma sites. So the next thing I'm going to do is do that little wash in all of the miniatures in this box and then this box will be finished, apart from painting the bases. Okay, 11 o'clock, I've now done that little wash all over the miniatures. That's this side complete, apart from the bases. I've also been working on the Scorpec destroyers. Again, going in with the little black wash, and then I've glued them onto the bases. These three here, I've added crystal, so that'll be a crystal unit. And of course, no crystals on this one, just so I can distinguish the two units if I need to in the future. Now, the reason why I've glued these onto the base before putting the sand, well, there's a couple of reasons. The first one, I think the rocks will look better because they'll be flatter on the base with the sand going around them. 
The second reason is that when you glue them into position on the sand, which is something I noticed over here, there's a little piece of plastic next to the foot which then is raised. So on these murder buckets I've actually had to cut the plastic down so that when it goes into position I can glue some sand over the top and hopefully hide the little stem. I was very worried about the warriors having the same issue but uh, they have a little rock on top of the stem on every single model so that's not going to be an issue. Okay, half past 11 and I put all of these HQs on their bases using some extra crystals as well. For reference, I'm gluing the green stuff crystals down uh, with super glue and plastic glue on the other ones. I'm not sure I may have already said that, but anyway, those are all drying. I'm gonna have something to eat, and then when I come back, I'm gonna put the sand on all of those bases, and then all that's left to do is the reanimator, and of course, Illuminor. Okay, so it's half past one and I've done all of the bases. I also went into the extra pieces of terrain which aren't normally on my Necron board, which I'd uh, put a brown wash on and I just dry brushed them over with Iron Breaker. So, that's all done. I'm gonna have a little rest now and then I think I'm gonna have a look at the reanimator. Okay, it's now three o'clock and I've built the reanimators and I finished painting them. So I had a long hard think about how to paint them. Well, it wasn't that long actually, but I had to think about it. And my Necrons are generally silver, even the vehicles, and I wanted to keep that silver fill with them. However, I felt they did need a little bit of extra uh, colour. So what I did, just grab one of them, is I painted a green wire just here and under his neck and then with the gold on the top there which I'd already previously painted I left the rest silver. Now when I glued them together I did accidentally get some glue on the Blood Angel so I used some Typhus Corrosion just to hide it and as you can see I've put some uh, green stuff on it just to build up the base uh, because well, that stuff they've got on there left quite a big bump and I just think it would have looked really weird. So I've put the green stuff on there. I'm gonna paint the green stuff black before I put the sand on just to hide the color uh, a little. But yeah, that one is done and this one here of course is also done and I just filled in the little hole there with some green stuff because I hadn't previously done that. So those are almost ready to put the sand on and then I've only got Illuminor left to finish, which, to be fair, there's not too much left on him to paint. Mainly, I need to finish off the Blood Angel, and then it's the um, effects. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be. The energy effects of him sucking his brains out. I do need to paint the Blackstone, which, even though it's just that, that tiny bit of Blackstone, it's a very important colour because it's going to be the colour of Blackstone throughout the army on the monolith and everything, Silent King, etc. I want to paint it like Games Workshop have painted it because I think it looks really cool, that colour. However, GW haven't put any tutorials up yet on how to do it. So I'm half thinking I might just leave that on Luminor uh, for now and just paint it at a later date. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's looking good so far today. As I said, it's three o'clock. Necron Girl's just about to come home from school, so I'll spend some time with her and then I'll base the reanimators. Okay, it's nearly four o'clock and I've done the reanimator bases, so I added some crystals to them and of course the sand. I used almost all of the crystals. I've got 11 crystals left, which I'm just going to say for the next batch of Necrons, which of course is coming very soon. On the 10th of October we get the new Necrons. I can't wait for that. Okay, so time for a break. I'm going to keep an eye out on the Warhammer community site to see if there's any new Necron posts today to make videos about. And then the next task will be to paint all of the bases black. Okay, it's half past five. I went onto the community site and there was a post about stratagems. I've just recorded the video. It's rendering now, ready to save out and upload. 
and I believe my girlfriend's coming around tonight so I think that will be it for hobby wise today tomorrow I'm hoping to crack on with the bases okay so it's nearly midnight I got home about half past ten I got inspired and I just got straight to painting and I've been painting the black on the bases went in with a bigger brush so I've still got to cut in around all of the crystals and rocks but I've actually done the black on all of the bases apart from Illuminor of course because I've still got to paint him so a great day's work tomorrow I'm going to cut in the black around the bases then all I have to do with the bases is dry brush them with a the grey and then glue the miniatures on and paint the rims I also am hoping to do some more work on Illuminor tomorrow. Mainly, all that's left is the rest of the Blood Angel. I'm going to paint his face and then all of those energy effects. <laughs> but for now, it's definitely time for sleep. As the vlog hits two hours long, I think this is definitely my longest video on YouTube. If you're still here, then wow, awesome, thank you so much. Okay, it's Friday the 2nd of October and it's a horrible, horrible day out there. Really, really heavy rain. So I've just given a Necron Girl a lift to school. It's now nine o'clock and, well actually to be fair, I woke up with a stiff neck. I'm not sure if I just slept funny or if I've just been painting too much, just locked in the same position. Even so, I need to crack on with the painting. So the next task is to black in the rest of the bases just with a smaller brush edging around all of the crystals and rocks these 20 bases which I primed yesterday black I will go over with black paint as well just to make them the same color black basically because the primer is a slightly different color so I'm going to start work on the bases I still have as my phone goes off I still have Illuminor to paint so yeah let's get to work Okay, it's nearly 12 o'clock. I've done all of the blacking in on the bases, which I'm really happy about. This side of the uh, table here only took me an hour. This side took me two hours. That's because obviously there's a lot more cutting in and, well, the miniatures were glued on the bases, so a little bit trickier. However, it's all done. So I'm gonna break for lunch and then come back start painting in Luminor. Okay so it's half past two and I've been working on Luminor in particular on the energy effects and the dead blood angel so I'm not painting this to an extremely high quality just tabletop quality just laying down some of the, the base coats and I've just done the wash as well so I'm gonna let that fully dry before I work on the next stage in the meantime I'm going to take a bath and then hopefully come back and finish this guy off. Okay, half past three and I've finished painting. So yeah, I just highlighted everything. Uh, it didn't come out quite as I envisaged it, but I'm still happy with it considering it's quite a basic uh, paint job. So, well, I just dry brushed it basically using my normal Necron greens, but then right at the end using uh, Nurgling green, and I just built up the colours. My idea being having it bright at the bottom, going up into dark green, very similar to the picture on the Games Workshop website, except obviously they used red. And then I used Tesseract Glow, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I just did it, uh, just on the, the bottom there, just to try and make it really glow. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's no golden demon, but um, yeah, it's gonna look pretty decent. So that's just drying, and then I can glue Illuminor together. Okay, he dried and is now glued onto the base. Now I do have a slight issue, and that's on this hand here, where uh, I think he's supposed to be holding a chain over the top of his hand, and maybe I thought it was a mold line, and I've attempted to take it off and it's it's basically looks a bit funny. So what I've done is I've positioned Illuminor slightly more back than he's supposed to be, allowing me a little bit of space and then I'm gonna use one of my Necron rocks and I'm just gonna hide his hand and then maybe put a few more rocks on there so 
it's going to look like Illuminor sort of cornered him and uh, then doing his dirty deed. So I think that's the plan. Okay, I've changed my mind. So <laughs> luckily he hadn't quite glued, so I've slid him forward slightly and I think I'm going to hide his dodgy hand with some blood effects. Maybe do a little bit of dripping blood from his mouth. Have it on the back of his hands. It looks like he's wiped his face in the fight before he got this happen to him. Okay, so it's six o'clock. I've just dropped Necron Girl off with her mum. She's seeing her mum this weekend. I've been in contact with my buddy and we're going to play a game tonight. 1500 points. It will be my last game with the old Necron Codex. Now I do want to sort out a luminal tonight so that I can get the sand on his base and then it can dry overnight. However, like the reanimator, I'm not too pleased with how the terrain sits on the base. I think it's going to look a bit odd when I start putting the sand on. So first of all I want to go in with some green stuff and just sort of make it look a little bit more logical let's say. So after the game I will put some green stuff on there, glue some sand on and let it dry overnight ready for painting in the morning. Okay so it's 11 o'clock, just finished gaming, had a fun game although it was a little one-sided. I have recorded the game, I will edit the battle report and see how it looks because I'm 100% sure it's going to make a great battle report, but we'll see. Anyway, I've just worked out that I haven't uh, eaten, I didn't eat any tea, uh, so I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to make some food, and then I'm going to work on Illuminor, get that green stuff on there, cover it with sand, and then let it dry overnight, ready to finish, finish, yes, these models tomorrow. Awesome, can't wait. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock now. I've had something to eat and I've done the green stuff. So uh, yeah, just went over with the green stuff, just effectively filling in the gap from the terrain to the base so that it's sort of hopefully when the sand goes over, it just matches in a little better. It came out very well on the reanimator, so it should work hopefully on this guy too. So the next job is just to give that a coat of paint. I'll black it in before I glue the sand on, just because it will cover a little bit easier when I have to paint the sand black afterwards. Okay, half past 12 and the sand is on. And I'm really happy with that. That's just solved the issue of, well, basically the piece is just not matching into the base. So that's done. I can leave that to dry overnight paint it black in the morning and then work on the rest of the bases. Okay so Saturday the 3rd of October Necron pre-order day. I'm very excited to order all the Necron stuff. Like I said I'm getting it from Mike's Gaming Store. Link to his website in the description below. Right I did wake up with a neck ache. Actually it was even worse than yesterday. I'm pretty sure it's not how I slept. It's because I've been locked in the same position all week painting. However, today is my last day off, back to work tomorrow, and I need to crack on with these miniatures. So the first job is to paint black on Illuminor's base. Right, it's now 10 to 9, and I've done the black. This model is so fragile, but it also looks so cool. Okay, so it's nearly 10 o'clock and the pre-orders are just about to go live. I've now finished dry brushing all of the bases, apart from Illuminor, because his base is still wet. So I went in with Dawnstone Grey and just dry brushed over um, all of the sand, basically, and that's how my colour scheme is. My next job now is to glue the miniatures to the bases, I'll then glue some rocks in on some of the bases that I'm going to have rocks on and then paint the rims and of course I just need to do the dry brushing on Luminor once he is dry. For now though it's time to order the new Necrons. Necrons! Okay so it's half past twelve. I've been working on these since about quarter past ten and I've now glued the minis to the bases and I've also gone in and added some of those rocks on top of the bases and Illuminor has now had his dry brush and some additional rocks to the bases. 
So I'm just going to let these dry for a little bit. I use super glue to glue the rocks on, but I do use the Gorilla Gel glue, which uh, gives you a bit of working time. I think it's the best super glue there is, except it does take slightly longer to glue. Anyway, um, I'm going to break for lunch. I need to go food shopping, so I'm going to go food shopping after lunch. Then I'm going to come back, and the only job left to do now is to paint the rims of the miniature black and then they're ready to varnish. Okay just got back from shopping it's two o'clock now time to paint the rim of the bases. I did have a look on the Silent King um, images on the war uh, uh, what's it called Games Workshop website and they had uh, not a painting tutorial but they showed you the paints to use to paint blackstone. Uh, three paints and a wash so I don't actually own any of those so I'm thinking I'm back to work tomorrow I might pop out to Games Workshop and get those paints so I can paint it just using their colours uh, so that's a good start so uh, yeah let's get painting the rims of the bases okay it's just gone four o'clock I did a live stream in Facebook in the Idic Beer Wargamers Unification Facebook as I painted the rims of the bases and I have now finished yay awesome excellent I'm very very pleased all I have to do of course is just varnish these I'll just uh, spray them with a can of satin varnish and then I'll make a showcase video so hopefully you'll tune in to see the full showcase video and if you've watched all of this video I very much appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed it if you did I've got some other painting videos which I'll link you up to in a playlist just there for you to check out next beam me up